Welcome to the spoken tutorial on getting ready for Moodle installation. In this tutorial, we will learn about the prerequisites for installing Moodle. We will also learn to check for packages on localhost and database setup. To record this tutorial, I will be using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache, MariaDB and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.6.30 and Firefox web browser. You can use any web browser of your choice. To install Moodle 3.3 in your system, you should have a machine that supports Apache 2.x or higher version, MariaDB 5.5.30 or any higher version, and PHP 5.4.4 or any higher version. If you have older versions of the above, ideally uninstall these before proceeding ahead. MariaDB is the fastest growing open source database. It is an alternative for MySQL database. Web server distributions give you Apache, MariaDB and PHP bundled in one. You can either install these separately or using a web server distribution like XAMPP, WAMP or LAMP. I have already installed XAMPP in my machine. First of all, we should check if XAMPP is running on our machine. In the web browser, type http colon double slash 127.0.0.1 and press enter. It shows a message unable to connect. This means XAMPP service is not running. So we have to start the XAMPP service. Let's open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys together. Start XAMPP by typing sudo space slash opt slash lamp slash lamp space start. Enter the administrative password when prompted and press enter. If you get a message that says starting XAMPP for Linux, XAMPP starting Apache OK, XAMPP starting MySQL OK, XAMPP starting Pro FTPD OK, it means that XAMPP is installed in your system and you have started the service. Please note, XAMPP 5.6.30 uses MariaDB instead of MySQL. The commands and tools are the same for both. Let us go back to the browser and refresh the page. We can now see the XAMPP screen. You may get a message saying command not found in the terminal. This means XAMPP is not installed in your machine. If so, refer to the XAMPP installation tutorial in the PHP and MySQL series on this website. Follow the instructions specified in the above tutorial and install the latest version of XAMPP. Let's switch back to the terminal. Now follow the steps shown above to start XAMPP service. Let us check the version of PHP on our system now. On the terminal, type sudo space slash opt slash lamp slash bin slash php space hyphen v and press enter. Enter the administrative password if prompted and press enter. My version of php is 5.6.30. This message indicates that php is installed successfully. If you get a version lesser than 5.4.4, you should install the latest version of XAMPP. Next, let us check the version of MariaDB on our system. On the terminal, type sudo space slash opt slash lamp slash bin slash mysql space hyphen v 
and press enter. Enter the administrative password if prompted and press enter. My version of MariaDB is 10.1.21. If you get a version lesser than 5.5.30, you should install the latest version of XAM. Please note, you should have XAM running to check the versions of PHP and database. Also note that the command prompt has now changed. Type backslash Q and press enter to exit MariaDB. You may also get other errors as shown here. You may get a message that says an Apache daemon is already running. It means the startup script did not start ZAMP Apache. This indicates that there is another Apache instance already running. To start ZAMP properly, you will have to first stop this daemon. The command to stop Apache is sudo space slash etc slash init dot d slash apache2 space stop. You may get a message that says MySQL daemon failed to start. This means the startup script did not start MySQL. This indicates that there is another database instance already running. To start XAMPP properly, first you have to stop this daemon. This command will stop MySQL sudo space slash etc slash init dot d slash mysql space stop. Resolve all the errors and get XAMPP running successfully. Then switch to your web browser and refresh the page. If prompted for language selection, select English. We will now need to add a user and create a database for Moodle. We will do this in PHP My Admin which is the graphical user interface for MariaDB. It comes along with the XAMPP installation. Let us go back to the browser. On the XAMPP page, in the menu at the top, click on PHP My Admin. Click on User Accounts in the top menu and then click on Add User Account. In the new window that opens, enter a username of your choice. I will type Moodle-ST as my username. From the host drop-down list, select Local. Enter a password of your choice in the password text box. I will type Moodle-ST as my password. Type the same password in the retype text box. Keep the authentication plugin option as it is. Please do not click on Generate Password Prompt for now. Under Database for User Account, we can see the option Create Database with Same Name and Grant All Privileges. We will check that option and click the Go button at the bottom right of this page. We can see a message. You have added a new user at the top of the window. It means a new database with the name Moodle-ST and with the user Moodle-ST has been created. Make a note of the username, password and database names. These will be required later to complete the Moodle installation. Please note, database name and username need not be the same. To have different names, create the database first and then create a user for that database. Also, as per naming convention, username should not have any spaces in between. We now have XAMPP running and our database is ready. We are now ready to install Moodle. We will continue with the installation of Moodle in the next tutorial. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about the prerequisites for installing Moodle, how to check up for the prerequisites, how to set up the database, and how to add a user, 
The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit http colon slash slash forums dot spoken hyphen tutorial dot org. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. The spoken tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Priyanka. This is Nancy Verki along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thank you for joining.